it was like right after the election. I was all politicked out. All right, let's look at do all trans uh, teens think the same? A new video by Jubilee came out. Let's see if this is fucking deranged. I'm sure, this will not be great. But we shall see. We shall look hey, at it humans. regardless. I can also, let me see if uh, Ludwig is down to uh to do let me let me fucking discord him i know he's like doing some shit right now but i'm gonna hit him up right now and see um you should check out what one third place for my conservative government's her vision inspires essay contest? No. Okay, let's look. Do all trans teens stick the same by Jubilee? Somewhat disagree. I would agree. Disagree. disagree. I hate that every week I have to like inject my hormones. Like I get so angry that like cis people get it for free. I and know. like it's just natural. Yeah, like you got it in your body. Like I got it in a drawer. <laughs> Fucking mind, it's so hot in here. Holy shit. Three, two, one. Like I've dated cis people in the past and like every time, like especially because like I'm a sign female at birth and non-binary, like if I'm dating like a man, he typically just sees me as a woman. Like I saw a TikTok literally yesterday. It was like, have y'all ever been with a they them woman? I was like, that is so like like no. <laughs> If you can't see me as non-binary, I cannot be seen outside with you. Like with women that are cis, like it's more welcoming, but like people, like they perceive us as like a lesbian couple and that's not really like what I'm trying to do. At my age, boys kind of come into themselves and their desires and it's just weird because they either want one thing or another thing and usually like I'm subject to be fetishized. Like some guys will like come at me and like be like, like, yeah, like, you're like the best of both worlds. And I'm like, girl, this is, this is not Hannah Montana. Like, I am a girl. I want to have, like, my own little moment where I could just get my own Prince Charming and stuff like that and just have a normal, you know, relationship like the rest of these cis girls. For me, like, I've normally only dated cis girls. I've been fetishized, like, probably a couple of times. Like, they say, oh, yeah, I'm bi. And then like, they, like, see me as, like, a girl or something. And it's, it's, it's so bizarre. But I've only recently ever, like, dated someone who's not cis. And they identify as non-binary. And that relationship taught me so much because I feel like I, they really saw me, like, for who I am. And, like, they were the most, um, like, aware person. I've only been with one cis person, and it was a girl. And I feel like, if anything, I think girls are super understanding, but I'm still open to a cis person. Like, it depends on the person, really. Like, I'm not looking for a trans Coffee person, I'm just looking for a good person. You should be able to medically transition before adulthood. Three, two, one. A lot of us, we have realized that this is what's best for us, like, as kids. And it's all about your mental health and well-being. But also, that being said, I think it's also important that this is what you really want because it's going to be a life-changing decision. And behind that, there should be a lot of evaluations and a lot of affirmations. That's basically what I was going to yeah, say. It's like, <laughs> it depends where you're at. You have to be at a certain place and, like, make sure, like, you're really ready. But I do think it would help so many. Bro, this is a lie. Okay, you can never get a bunch of trans teenagers in the same room to agree to anything. How did they find a bunch of trans teens to agree to anything? Look at the fucking Hasanabi broadcast chat for, like, uh, further evidence, okay? Wild. Wild to see. Wild to see uh, a, a group of trans people agreeing on any particular matter without trying to fucking stab one another in the eye socket with a with a pencil or whatever the sharp objects they got any trans kids mental health if they were you only know tiktok zoomer trans kids well, where the fuck are these kids from able to transition before 18. i'm dying to get on hormones and i do agree that kids like should be able to get like 
hormones and go through HRT. But like, there's also like a little part of me that's like- Are you like, cis what they, What does that mean? Changing their mind. Like when I was 13, I thought I was a trans man. And then I was like, nah. <laughs> and then I was like, wait. <laughs> so it was like, for me, it was just like a lot of like questioning and going through different identities until I found what felt right. And like at the point I'm at right now, like. I don't even know if I want to go on like HRT. So if I would have went on that one, I was, like, I don't oh, know. Yeah. I, I don't I think am. I would have regretted it. But it was like I'm glad that I like internalized 100%. a lot of it and like went through it within myself. I think it's so long as we educate children. Wow, like, Zan, way to confront your biases and confront your personal experiences. What about trans people infighting? What do you mean? <laughs> one, it's a joke, and two. If you don't understand that that's a joke, you are unironically participating in exactly what I was saying already, which is like immediately being like, nope, I'm not charitable anymore. <laughs> trans people are, are the first to be like, why don't you do enough trans advocacy? And then literally be like, I'm going to shove it down your fuck. I'm going to kill you because you didn't do it in the appropriate way. Like the risk on transitioning very young, like medically transitioning very young, and um, they're educated on the process. I I think children should the be. only thing trans people agree on is playing Hearts of Iron and wearing coder socks what a choose. and eating hot chip. Whether or not they want to transition young. And Fallout New Vegas, yes. I went that to too. UCI for a quarter and they were very understanding and like they don't really like ask questions but in high school it was definitely a struggle because like my name was a different name on the roster and then like I would have to explain especially like my Spanish teacher she had like such like Catholic beliefs and like she would pull me aside and like ask questions and it was really sweet of her to like try to understand but it was also hard for them to like remember like in class and stuff like that so it was kind of a struggle. I'm honestly really thankful that they really did try to find a way to like make trans people feel a bit more comfortable in the school. Like right now I'm taking like a ballet and Pilates class and I totally thought it was going to be, a, oh, but you, you were like born male so you have to do like masculine presenting stuff, which I was like really afraid of, but I'm so glad that they're like really accepting. I go to UC Berkeley right now and I get misgendered there like on a daily basis. Like I will introduce myself to the teacher and I'll be like, I go by they, them pronouns, by the way, I'm non-binary, like please respect my pronouns. And like within two times like that I'm in the classroom, they'll go back to using she, her pronouns and like other classmates will also misgender me and it gets just really mentally taxing at a point. And so I kind of just like stop trying as much because like it's just mentally exhausting having to realize like no one sees you as non-binary because you still have like feminine qualities about yourself. I have come out more than once. Three, two, one. I've come out multiple times, like not just like for my like trans experience, but for like my sexuality as well. Cause I came out as like pansexual, then I came out as bi, and then I was just came out as non-binary before I came out as trans. I'm like, oh my God, like how many, when am I gonna get it right y'all? Like, Yeah, same, I think I went through like four or five different sexualities and then I was like, wait. <laughs> and then I just feel like presenting more androgynous. It is the struggle of like coming out every day and being like, hey, like I know I, I look this way, but this is like what I am. This is how I feel. Yeah. And like, you can respect it or not, like honestly. And it's just, I, I feel like it's just, it's gonna be forever. I kind of feel like I have to come out like every single day, just like with new people I meet in my life. Like I'm constantly having to be like, oh yeah, I'm, my name's Mandy, I'm non-binary. I go by they, them pronouns. Please respect those pronouns or this is not like a safe space for me. I get the like telling people on like a daily basis, like anyone you meet, like I want people to know immediately that I'm trans because I don't want to bring it up later on and have it be an issue with them. I feel like I only came out once because after the first time I kind of made it visible and I didn't want Want to talk about it i didn't want to have to come out again and i feeling is unbreakable i don't know and i'm too afraid to ask and i'm not going to talk about it because i feel like it's very controversial i thankfully had very supportive people in my life that like i could have came out to again um but i felt a lot more comfortable just kind of like living my life and having people just like accept what i'm doing with my life without you know coming out again Cisgender individuals do not understand my struggles. Three, two, one. Yeah, queer people be like, what do you mean? We agree on everything until the fucking bi-pan discourse comes around. You know what I mean? 
personally, my friends try to empathize, and I really appreciate that for them. But personally, I think that... I will not talk about it. I will not talk about that. And the other thing I will not talk about is neo-pronouns. That's it. Don't ask me. I don't know. Don't ask me. This people take for granted, you know, their gender euphoria. Getting ready in the morning and looking at yourself and having the absence of distress. Like, when I get up and I get ready and I look at myself physically, like, I'm distressed. Like, I don't look like the person I was just dreaming I was, you know? Like, I've known people that, that were cis and then would kind of be, like, transphobic towards me. And then after a few years, they start transitioning and they're like, oh, I understand now. And, like, it wasn't until they were going through it and really felt the pain of it that they were able to understand. I try to think of just, like, the whole entire spectrum of just, like, cis people who are, like, identifying female, but for some reason their bodies present more masculine. I feel like they can have that sort of point of view that can help them sympathize and empathize for you more. It's all about, like, the spectrum and just how. There's just so many nuances. Life would be easier if I wasn't trans. Three, two, one. My whole thing is like, I'm already like a person of color. If it wasn't non-binary, I'd be a woman. So like life is not gonna be easy for me. And I just feel like that it wouldn't be the same, but it wouldn't be necessarily easier. I mean, I agree with what you're saying about being a person of color and being queer, but you know, like- That's wild. Like I've been through so much horrible sh and like personally like my life would be easier if I was cis. I mean a defining part of who I am is definitely being trans but every day I do wonder you know what I'm if actually genuinely surprised that there was any any disagreement there. I was actually born a, a cis like female you know. Yeah I hate that I still think a lot of the time like I wonder what life would be like if I was cis, or I kind of wish I was cis. Like, like, I know I wouldn't be where I am, and I wouldn't know almost anyone in my life if I was. Let's all be inclusive. Aha, uh -huh. obese, yeah, ha uh -huh. chemical imbalance, trans, you go guinea pigs, aha, uh -huh. mental illness, so quirky. Brother, you are literally writing something that is a copy pasta in a fucking Twitch chat. Why in the ever loving fuck do you think you are mentally balanced? Like, the first sight of a trans person caused you to schizo post in the chat. Why would you ever think that you are literally mentally well? You know what I mean? Immediately, like immediately, you saw a trans person were like, uh, uh, and you started fucking blasting, okay? At what point are you mentally sane? You're currently foaming out of the fucking mouth at the mere sight. The mere appearance of a fucking trans person. And you, you typed all of that. You know what I mean? Since people are like, oh man, I'm so fucking sane, dude. And then they see a trans person and literally just start fucking schizo posting immediately. That's crazy. I love, I love hearing about mental sanity from people who have turf brain, which is a diagnosable medical uh, disease, okay? It's like... <laughs> Straight up, you got turf brain. It's broken. Your brain broken. It's smooth. I wasn't trans, and if I didn't go through the struggles I went through, I hate that every week I have to like inject my hormones. Like I get so angry that like cis people get it for free, and like it's just natural. Oh my god! I think your community is predominantly cis and white. To be honest, yeah. There's a much larger percentage of trans people in here than any other fucking community on the internet. But yes, of course this community is predominantly cis and white. We're on fucking Twitch. What do you think? It's still more diverse than most other communities in comparison to other Twitch communities especially, but... But yeah.
And I'm like, and there's there's times where my insurance is being like annoying, and I can't get yeah, my like, hormones. Yeah, you got it in your body. And, like, I got it in a drawer. <laughs> yeah, like it, it's really really hard, and like breaks me down. But I know that I wouldn't be who I am if I wasn't trans. Yeah, just like bouncing off that, just the thought of like waking up and not having dysphoria yeah. about something, and like not trying on like 15 different shirts because my chest oh my doesn't God. look flat enough, or yeah. like just stuff like that. I think it it would genuinely make my life easier. But again, it's like I wouldn't meet the people that I have in my life, and I'm so grateful for them. Yeah,